All right, so normally I would start off with, uh, you know, a bit about um, chiropractic or a story, but I, I, we got some really great questions today. So I do want to uh, delve a bit into this first and then I'll get into a quick little story about why I think chiropractic is so amazing and why I think everyone would benefit from it. So I'll start with this one. Uh, do I offer any services other than adjustments? Yes, we have massage therapy in the office and because I am a science guy, I like helping people with things like nutrition and exercise and also how to think really well because thoughts are just as important when it comes to that whole health picture as what you eat and how you move. So I'm, it's a big component of what I do in the office. So I do make recommendations for people on supplementation. I'm not a, uh, we have to be very careful when it comes to how we approach our health because people will ask me all the time, doc, what supplement do I take for this? Well, that's really more along the lines of a natural pharmacologist, somebody who's treating a condition with something. Now, I'm, I don't consider myself a natural pharmacologist because I would rather people just attain health the best that they can, and there's a certain number of steps to follow to get to health first. Once you get to health, then you can start looking at the symptoms and conditions that you have and how to treat them with other things naturally, of course, first, and then if it's a crisis situation, maybe you do need the medical intervention. I'll talk more about that later. Do I require x-rays or do them? I do have an x-ray machine in my office. It is a high-frequency digital x-ray, so it's a lot less radiation than like old-school standard x-rays from like 15 years ago even. So I'm very proud about that. We can take an image, it pops up right away. If you want to copy your image, just bring a, a storage uh, device on and we'll pop the image onto that. I recommend that everybody, if you ever have an, uh, an x-ray or an MRI or a test taken, save it. Okay, because doctors are only required to keep hold of these things for seven years in the state of California. So eight years later, you want a record of something, they'll go, oh, sorry. It's up to you. To, so you should have a, a health record somewhere on a Google Drive or something on the cloud so you can always access your health records at any point in time. It's just a really great idea. Um, what degree, certifications, license do I have? I have a driver's license. I'm sure you're like, okay. So we, we could start, we could, yeah, we could start with that. It, it is valid. I went, I, went through, I went through a little slice of hell just to go through that whole new driver's license process that we have to go through. Like... Wow, so anyway, uh, my digress. Uh, I, got my, I got a certification as a uh, licensed massage therapist um, when I was in Santa Barbara. It was one of those things that chiropractic led me to do that, and I knew once I got my hands on people and I was comfortable doing it, I thought, okay, then I can do this chiropractic stuff. So I did massage to kind of help me get through school and also a way to learn. Uh, and then I got a degree as, uh, a, I have a degree in chemistry, so it's kind of weird, but I, that's my science background. Uh, organic chemistry, loads of fun, no matter what they tell you. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I have my chiropractic degree. And then after chiropractic college, I went on, I got a degree as a, a uh, it's, it's called a diplomat as um, an uh, IDE, which is independent, um, I'm sorry, talking a little fast again. Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a disability evaluator, uh, industrial disability evaluator. And I did that, and I thought helping people with their, in, you know, their injuries from on the work was kind of cool. But then I, I decided that, you know what, I really want to help people. We need so much help in this country with like elevating our health to that next level. So I got into a, a program called, um, uh, it's a wellness certification program through the International Chiropractic Association. It's my best and favorite diplomat. It's what enables me to call myself a wellness expert and have the letters behind me to back it up. So I am a true, true wellness expert. There's, there's about 370 of us in the United States, so I can claim that. So it was a diplomat program. It was two years, and I love everything I learned there, it's, and I still share that. Uh, most embarrassing moment adjusting a client. We're all eating right now, so I am not going to share that with you, right? Oh. Sorry. Um, but, you know, at some point, everybody's going to pass gas. It's just the way it happens. The kids always laugh, and the old lady's like, oh, you know, it's, it's okay. I make, I usually tell them, so I do it too. Don't worry. It's okay. So just try, you know, anyway. Not one adjusting, but um, what's, uh, how often should you be adjusted? I really firmly believe that um, everybody should get an adjustment at least once a week. Over the course of about a week, we do enough awful things to ourselves where our spines will sustain some sort of microtrauma. And microtrauma over time results in more and more problems. An example of microtrauma is like repetitive type movements, like carpal tunnel typing this type of stuff, eventually that leads to you know that carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, posture is a form of microtrauma, especially if you know, and many people do, that their posture needs some work. Over time, that poor posture can result in a lot of other problems like poor concentration or focus, poor circulation, uh, poor organ efficiency, uh, even early death. 
there have been studies that show that people have poorer posture than their healthier, good posture counterparts die sooner. So that's why I place a lot of emphasis on, you know, please do what you can to improve on your posture at all times. Uh, what sets me apart from other chiropractors? I'm just really good looking. And I got good style, so. So that's my humility coming out. Anyway, yeah, that's right there. Okay. So when I went through uh, when I went through school to get my prerequisites, I did take the anatomy course. And uh, now you're eating, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, we'll just go this really quickly. When there was a cadaver in front of us, and we had that job of dissecting and taking apart, one of the the most eye-opening things that my professor said is that before you lies a body, in this body is everything that is required to live. There's a brain, there's a heart, there's lungs, there's kidneys, there's skin, there's bones, there's everything. But this body, body is missing something. What is it? And you know, we all, well, it's life, right? Well, what is life? What does that mean? It's an animated thing that exists within all things that, that exhibit some form of, of living. And when I, I, so I go, okay, the, my mind was just blown, just that one simple statement. What makes something that's inanimate and dead different from something that's alive and how do you measure it? What is life and how do you, how do you like quantitatively figure out what that is? And so at that point I'm like, you know what, I really would love to figure this out. And at that point I, I sort of these things all came together. I'm like, you know what, I want to be the kind of person who could, could bring out more life in people. Instead of focusing on being a disease expert and what makes people wrong and sick and how to treat that, I want to be the one to go like, okay, you have some life in you, let's bring more life out. And in that way, I, can, I look at every person who comes in and every one of you and I see miracles. I see just amazing, incredible miracles. And you're capable of so much. And I would love to see people get to the, that next level of where their health is because let's face it, if you can elevate your health to that next level, every aspect of your life will improve. And not only that, but there's this really crazy spillover effect because the people around you will feel that too. And I think there's nothing more important in our society today where we are as Americans, some of the sickest people on the planet, to do more to elevate ourselves and those around us to a greater state of health. And if we can do that, I really firmly believe we have a great country here. And I do believe we have a great country. But we need to do more. Right now, nearly 20 cents of every dollar that's spent in the United States is spent on sick care in some form. Now, I don't call it health care. I used to call it health care. But it really isn't. It's sick care. What makes the wheels of this country turn is people not being at their best health and looking for a solution that goes outside of them. And I don't want to get into the politics of it. I'm just <laughs> going to stop right there. Okay. I'm getting red. <laughs> so, let's see. So anyway. <laughs> so, I think we 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 owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our loved ones, we owe it to our our community, to our business to do something a little bit different, to bring out just a little bit more life and a little bit more energy and a little bit more um, uh, of, of that change. And that change is the, the biggest challenge. And that comes down to, and I was talking with to Nancy about this, is where is the priority on creating more health for you? Because when I ask the question, who wants to be healthier? Everyone raises their hands, right? Then the next question is, what are you willing to do about it? And that requires change. Right? And people don't want to change. Let's face it, you say change, most people go, oh, I like where I am. It's okay. <laughs> but I want to be better. It doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. You've got to pick and choose your battles. And if I said, every one of you right now, if I said, if you put another tablespoon of sugar in your mouth, you're going to die, you would suddenly have a different feeling about what goes into your mouth. And wouldn't you be a lot more careful? Well, sometimes I have to look about, you know, the way that I view nutrition, the way I view the things we put in our body, that way. Like, I get a little kind of crazy about it, and my kids think I'm nuts, but, you know, I do get to the point, like, you, know, you have to be very careful. Everything we put into our body fuels us. You know, if we looked at our bodies like high-performance machines, wouldn't we want to put, like, high-quality fuel into it? So, you know, that's one aspect of that, but then again, it comes down to, to anchoring that change, and that's a conscious choice and a conscious decision. Live consciously. The next thing is movement. Like, you know, we, exercise is like a huge, huge part of how to elevate ourselves, that movement, that, to elevate that next level. And sometimes I have to encourage people to bottom line level, just walk for 10 minutes a day. You know, because some people like it, that's, you know, they can't even do that. And then when you lose the ability to walk a day, then you really appreciate how important it is, right? Mm -hmm. Just ask anybody in a hospital bed right now. 30 second wrap up. 30 second wrap up. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? 
I got one. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone? Yes. When is that uh, seminar at your office? Okay, great question. About? So yeah, two things. I have. I'm doing a workshop on September 10th. That is my um, my advanced spine care class. I do it once a month, and everybody here is welcome to come. Just let me know ahead of time so we can prepare for you. I do them once a month. They're great mm. workshops. Now, last night I did the 10 hacks on how how to improve your energy focus, concentration, and um, productivity. It's gonna be on the internet. In fact, Warren posted it. Please watch it. There's some real, 10 simple, really t great tips, okay? So I'm getting out there. I would love to do lectures. If you have a group, an organization, people who meet together at any point, I love to come and talk. And I can talk about, a, I got 20 different topics to talk about, and uh, chances are stress is my favorite one. So if you know anybody who's under stress, nobody around here, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's the, it's the big topic and I do a really great, uh, anywhere from 10 minute, 20 minute, 45 minute to an hour talk on stress. I love to talk about that stuff. So, what's that? September 10th? September 10th is the next workshop, Advanced Spine Care Class, 7 p.m. My office on Newhall Ranch Road here in town, 7 p.m. You're all welcome to come, just please let me know if you're gonna make it. And then uh, last thing on October 10th, I'm doing a beers, brats, and bros event in my office because you know I kind of like that stuff. And it's a, it's a. Looking forward. To it, thank yes, yeah. It's all. It's we're here to sponsor Rob too and and um, first stone. So anyway, okay. Uh, I think that's it. Am I done? That's it. All right, all right. Love and appreciate you all so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>